Anyway, we're back. I uh, also took care of my of a bunch of uh, the portal stuff, so we should have a lot of. We should be able to move to the next area. I mean, I'd prefer if you didn't do that on your own. No, I meant. No, I meant while when we just started. I uh, crafted a bunch of the portal blocks. I didn't okay. open up the portal. Okay. Uh, sorry. So, uh, but before we yeah. go, I'm uh, going to make some more cloth so we can uh, get some better gear. Yeah, so I was having a look. Um, in terms of weapons, so of course each weapon style gives, you know, has its... Uh, pros and cons. So I'm definitely going to be sticking with wands because they're uh, staves give your your normal attack, well my normal attack, so AOE, but that's only really good for um, you know mobs of enemies. With uh, apparently with the range of the slingshot is the, of course the fastest attack speed. I think it has something to do with like health regen as well. Hmm. Okay, I will uh, put my, the clop into the first chest so you can basically make the entire clop gear you're gonna need. Uh, one thing I'm wondering is if uh. Like, do you get XP for crafting stuff? Uh, I don't think so. Because, I mean... I didn't notice. Mm -hmm. uh, so I do notice XP popping up every now and then, but I'm not sure if that's because of... I was near one of you killing something, or... Hmm, maybe. Yeah, by the way, okay. yeah. I am looking good. Except for the helmet. <laughs> Thank God for that. For being able to turn it off, right? Because, yeah, if if XP is gained through crafting as well, I'd rather do my own crafting just for... Yeah. Hmm. So I guess the next thing we should do is probably wait until no uh, it's daytime, because those hell skeletons, those things will knock us out. Things are assholes. That that was almost a uh, Tommy was uh, delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are assholes. I don't Those like them. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Nah, that went a little too scottish. That wasn't Tommy. Yeah. It's funny, like, there, there was a, my friend Maka was telling me where he used to live, uh, every week they would have, the, the local, uh, cinema, would have a dedicated, uh, the room night. Oh my god. Awesome. Did they also do, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show? I don't know. That reminds me that uh, kind of close to me, there's a an Alamo Draft House theater, and I remember one at one point going to uh, a showing with a friend that was a uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail quote along. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome! <laughs> yes, that sounds just. Oh god, it was fantastic. I almost want to do like a mecca like trek just to go there. <laughs> And that's something I realized is that with this game, since we're so limited by the fact that this is an in infinite world, we will, in theory, run out of resources. I 
That's kind of a scary thought. I think thought. that's why, no, they're, uh, I believe, as I said, you can actually generate random islands. Oh, you can? Yeah. I haven't done too much reading, but, like, there, as I said, there's an idea that you can buy vacant islands to build stuff on, so hmm. I think there's... And there are randomly generated dungeons, so maybe there is, like, actual... Like, you know, you purchase a permit or something like that to go to a Winston randomly generated dungeon. Which has all the resources you need. I guess that's fair. Okay, and... Well, I found out something. The enemies in these uh, little mine dungeons uh, respawn. Mm -hmm. What if the loot respawns? Gonna die. Flaming skeleton? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, those things are assholes. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. What? The treasure chests respawn. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Well, as I did. Like, I did read that there was, like, a Diablo-esque element to it, so I guess that's part of it. I am okay with yeah. this. So, because I know, as I said, you can get, like, loot with random enchantments and stuff like that. Ooh, I have a fireball scroll. Mm -hmm. Yay. So yeah, should we continue exploring this place with all its little mine shafts or go on to the next? I think there was um, only two mine shafts, but... Uh, I, I'm fond of the, of the idea of continuing on and getting more resources, because yeah. not yeah. having coal is cramping my style. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to have better uh, uh, picks and such. And also, I want to build a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to be level 6 for the next weapon. <clears throat> well, no, I could uh, craft the hammer. It's just I didn't have the resources for it. Teamwork. I'm about to level up. Alright. I, I got the uh, portal stone. Hey, uh, I got I found some coal in uh, I guess in that chest. Either that or maybe it's also dropped by the Hell Knights. That would explain a lot. Okay, so before we go, I'm thinking since I got four coal blocks, I could make four copper ingots. Let's see, and we already have two. Can't remember how much it costs to make like uh, pickaxes. Well, that's copper. why we go check. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't think I can make a copper pick unless I improve the anvil. Yeah, that might be the case for some things. But, let's see, to make a reinforced wooden sword, that would require two 
hit. That would require two copper to make my uh, copper bow, two. And I'm guessing for your, uh, yeah. My one does not require copper. Okay. I just need a uh, flame, flame ruby dust, which I have. Well, that's good. Oh yeah, I've got 64 copper ore. Yeah, I got a copper ore in here too. Wait, what's okay? Okay, that's just a normal one, man. Uh, I get it now. Okay, so um, to try to remember how to make. Where do I go to make flame ruby dust? Okay, now I need some amber. Do I need to do it at workbench? Okay, yeah, flame ruby dust. Okay. I need to do it at the altar. Shall I go into the thing? Uh, not um, yet. We're still working on the gear. Yeah, I'm just gonna get myself a couple more, uh, some flame rubies. I think I've got enough. Yeah, we got a hundred flame rubies in the chest. Okay, yeah. Beautiful. Alright, the next thing... And for uh, what would you prefer, an axe or a wooden sword? Uh, I guess I'll take axe. It sounds more powerful. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably more powerful but slower. It gives you yeah. better critical strike damage. All right, uh. Come on over here and I'll uh, pass it over to you. Alright, hold on. Shell trophy. Hey, Bren, do you yeah. still have the wood logs? Oh yeah, sorry. Oh damn it! <laughs> Here, uh, they're in the other chest. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice if you could just sort of like, you know, take a certain number. Yeah. Hey, check yeah. it out. Look what we got! We got a shell trophy! It's like a wooden mounted shell of the giant tortoise. Nice! Okay. Onward to adventure! I have a new wand! I got a new bow, and it looks awesome. Oh, yeah, now let's level up my... I have a new slicey slice. <laughs> yeah, did I level up? No, I didn't. Alright, I'll meet you over by the portal. Alright. Is that, is that exactly what uh, Squirt calls swords? Or axes? <laughs> uh, sort of be a slicey if slicey. It if it does a slice, it's a slicey chop. slice. <laughs> yeah, if it does a slice. Uh, perfect, perfect vernacular. Hmm. 
What is that? Alright, Fort Finch, huh? That sounds pretty awesome. Gonna be Finches everywhere! You mean or that, you mean that squib? No, a finch is a bird. Well, I was referencing uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, I know, you are referencing yeah. Harry Potter, but... <laughs> yeah, I know it's a bird. Like, somewhere like in the Sparrow family, I think? Yeah. Bird is bird. Yeah. I found I learned some things today. Oh my god, that place looks no. awesome. So, I was doing research about, like, you know, uh, humanoids with wings. Yeah. And it's like, of course, the, uh, yeah, this place does look pretty awesome. Um, the most commonly accepted, uh, and probably the most scientifically correct version of humanoids with wings would be having, you know, wing arms. Hmm. So similar to body, um, uh, the, yeah, or the Rito. Okay, looks like we gotta clear this area out. Mm -hmm. But, it's like, all this stuff was like, you know, if, if humans had wings, this is how the world, how different the world would be. And stuff like buildings would definitely be like, uh, much more open. Uh, there'd be no stairs or really doors because we'd probably just be like taking off and landing from yeah. like hangars. But some people are very incorrect. A lot of people like to imagine, you know, humanoids with uh. St like you know, angel you know, wings. Wings. Yeah. wings. Yeah. Humans would have leathery wings like bats. Because we're mammals. Yeah. I can see that. Which makes sense. But let's face it, it'd be awesome to have like angel wings or something. Nah, I'd much prefer bat wings. Hmm. Feathers are just too it... like you get feathers wet, they need need too much grooming. And besides, it's one of those things where it's like, as nice as and pretty as Angel Wing type stuff looks, like, maybe it's because I'm just thinking of bats specifically at the moment. Bats are cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh... We need to make medicine. medicine. Yeah, we gotta talk to a witch. I think the witch... I don't know, I think there's a way down here. Hmm. I found a water bomb in a chest. I have no idea what it's for. Just says it's consumed. Uh, I saw a pro tip that said those can be used to fill up lakes and stuff. Hmm. So... There's some cool furniture around here. We're definitely gonna have to ransack this place once <laughs> we, you know, build our own, right? Perhaps. Uh, friend beat me too. I was just about to talk to him and you just come running in. <laughs> hmm. There's some cool furniture right in here that he's selling. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, title deeds. So you can buy vacant, uh, title deed of vacant desert, vacant oasis, desert, fairy forest. Forest Island, Grassland. They range from 50 gold to 100 gold. That's not, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, so basically you can buy our own island. Ooh. For... Ooh, can we, can we? we can, can we build a castle? Base. Can we build a castle in the sky? A full of robots that hand out flowers? I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want. I thought we were going <laughs> to share an area or something. I mean... We can, but at the same time, you can still do whatever you want. We can, we can each have our own islands and have a main island. Well, I kind of like the idea of just sharing one big island together. Yeah, I think, and it could uh, be fun to build together. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I, I, 
All right. Well, main, here's main. the question: Where do we want to build our main island? I hear we got medicine. Cost twenty yep. gold. I already got it. Okay. Good. So where should we build it? I mean, I don't know. I, as I, I'm probably going to build my own little castle somewhere. I think that might be another reason why I didn't quite uh, connect with uh, Stardew Valley. It's because you know me, like with uh, both Terraria and um, uh, blanking on name, space game. Starbound? Starbound, yeah. Hmm. You know, with me, uh, there was just times where I would just basically go off on my own and just start building. So, what would be a good area for us to build for our main hub island? I don't know. It's, there's, like, we could just do simple grassland. We could do, that's probably the most basic. We haven't exactly seen, like, all the other options. Well, I bought a, uh, a fairy forest island. That sounds nice. There's only but 50. That could also, that could also mean that there's too many trees around. Well, oh dear. That means we could chop stuff down and get wood. Yeah, true. And I just teleported. I have a thing telling me to go back to a person, but I can't find the person. Whoa. It's upstairs. Holy yeah. shit. I just got up there, now I can't even remember how I got up there. Oh my god, it's a giant pumpkin. Ah, right, here we go. Looks, the place looks like it's autumn. So it's the, fa it's the autumn court, then. Well, we could try the other islands. It was I mean, this guy, so... wasn't it? What? Okay, no, never mind. Oh, uh, yeah. It was uh, Cleveland. Oh, okay. It's the one that I'm looking for. Wait, maybe it yeah. is that green thing. Something in the oh. distance. Oh, yeah, because green means thing. Words. I can use that. Uh, return to Cle Clevon with red berries, okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that okay, was okay, a and I see uh, the, quest the red, I found. The, the green. I see the green thing, and I believe that is the thing. Oh, the green thing disappeared. Doesn't look I... like there's any enemies here, so yeah, this is a. Yeah, that's why it's a vacant. That's. Yeah, this is too. nice. But I don't know if the Fey Island is what I'm after. <laughs> so, do you <laughs> have the ability to teleport to it? Yeah, but that's why I literally said we should find out what places are like before going buying stuff. Well, excuse me. <laughs> now we have a home to call our own. Looking for stolen weapons, I guess. Well, looking at Fort Finch, uh, yeah, this is where we find coal. Yeah. And also stolen weapons, apparently. Yes. I. I just realized that you can so you can go rummaging through bookcases. Yeah, and all this time we were just breaking them open. Wait, you were actually breaking the book? Nah, I was just making a joke. I didn't know if you could. Because we hate knowledge! <laughs> so, hi, hey, uh, you're using a controller. What do you do to do, like, that shout thing? Uh, I just select it and use it. It's like something you could put on the action bar. 
Oh. Make me wanna shout. Hmm. <laughs> PC Master Race. <laughs> you want you 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 want to have a fight? You, <laughs> God, I I can't even do the fucking accent right now. Just. Uh, See, I I have a mouse with a whole bunch of numbers on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I have a thing with letters on. You know, that is one thing I always hate about switching between an Xbox and a uh, Nintendo controller. Why why do the, the letters have to be switched around? Yeah, yes, when the is. X button's all over the place, I'm way beyond that one. Completely unnecessary. Huh. There's a toilet. I could sit on it. That is awesome. Hmm. This artwork. I'll take it. Yeah. At least these are. Uh, at least the NPC voices aren't as annoying as they would be in, say, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. I can... <laughs> or just about any rare game. Ah, Golem! Ow. Quickly, throw a Pokeball at it! Not that kind of Golem. Ah. Actually, it, it actually looks a bit more like... I mean, it does kind of look like, um... What's his face? Go... Go Lurk, mixed with, um... Hmm. LGM. Oh, goody. Hmm. I forgot to equip my new wand! Let's see... Man, these things kick ass. Oh, there you are. Let's see if this works. Whoosh! Vacant Forest Island? Yeah, this is looking pretty a lot nicer. I think we found our new home. Yay. Uh, you wanna check it out? Uh, uh how, how do we do the thing? I guess just teleport to me. You know, check your map and yeah. Travel. We. Why Dusty Junction is still like flashing like this thing there? Hmm. Yeah, this is a nice flat landscape. Yeah. It wouldn't be too hard to transfer everything over. Yeah, this is the same as the place we just were in terms of style. Yeah, I like it. Got us a crafting table. 
I'll make some chests. I was about to say, instead of building everything again, why not just go back and pick up the stuff we have at Dusty Junction? Well, yeah, but I'm also making some more chests so we can put more stuff in. Yeah, but still, like, you didn't have to build a new... <laughs> Well, if I wanted to make those chests, yes. I'm just saying, you pick up the stuff from Darcy Junction. It's bring it fine to you. right now. This needs the ground pound. <laughs> oh? Or a double jump. Double jump would be nice. Do you know if there's like an object that would enable that or? Uh, nope. Hmm. So, what are we gonna make our new home out of whatever we want what it is and if I get pissy oh I'll burn it all to the ground with you in it this place uh, uh, one thing I just realized yeah this island basically has no depth to it what do you mean yeah I checked on the side like yeah it's only like a few blocks deep Wow yeah yeah, this really but, is yeah. just for making like a home base out of. Which has a disadvantage though, in that you can't be a hermit who lives in a hole in this place if you want to. Yeah. What if I want to be a hermit? <laughs> exactly. You would have to do like a crazy, you know, block setup and build the basement. That's so funny. Uh, oh my nan. Because of because I'm starting this uh, new diet, my nan keeps coming and is like, Are you allowed to have this? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm like I, I told her, it's like it's not exactly a strict diet, it's just a you know, it's like that I'm I have to try and eat healthier. Which means I'm gonna be focusing more on the stuff, but doesn't mean I'm strictly going to be stuck to that. Yeah, there's something I learned is that don't go cold turkey on the stuff you like. <laughs> I mean, ice cream is... it's a good occasional thing. I do it at least at once or twice a week, depending on how often I go to the gym. Or as an emergency, oh my god, my life is ruined, I need, I need to basically eat some haagen dazs like a fat girl who didn't get invited to prom. <laughs> I mean, one thing I've learned is, while exercise is good, it's always more important to have a healthy diet. Yeah. Overall... From what I understand, kind of the big thing of it is, it has to be like a lifestyle change, basically. Yeah. Yep. This I mean, is my square. All these squares make a circle. All these squares <laughs> make a circle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do love the fact that the blocks actually, you know, 
form seamless. You know, yeah. Lines. Yeah. So you, you go you go and start placing stuff on Squirt Square. <laughs> she gets the cool braziers. What if Squirt didn't want them? She's a she's a slime, you know. She dries up. <laughs> we'll make a pool. <laughs> Actually, that would be pretty bitchin'. No, no. Actually, I know one thing I'm gonna try and build just for the fun of it somewhere. Right. I want to I want to recreate the. Uh, so, uh, Saga Arena. <laughs> Are you gonna have that one spot that's grass? <laughs> yeah! Exactly. Okay, we have a workbench too. Which also means you can make a chest too. I'm guessing it might have more stuff in it. Also, we can make something called a landing pad. I have no idea what that That's is for. What that is there? That's where you teleport. Ah. From. Okay, we got something called a hoe. I can make a mining claw, which effectively mines gems and other magical blocks. Ah, that's how you make the copper pick. You need the upgraded workstation. That's it. Uh, we got like an arcane compass, a mining drill. Yeah, this is some good stuff. Ooh. Okay, now just to find where these stolen weapons are. Yeah, I guess me and uh, Squirt here are gonna grab all the stuff from Dusty Junk Kitchen and. Also, any of the NPCs and move them over to here. Why do well, we I was figuring them? I would at least grab some sand. So that I can make more of that uh, concrete. Why do we even have uh, NPCs following us around? Like, what's that purpose? I have no idea. I think it's just so <laughs> you can make your area feel more alive. Like, you know, you actually have people in your fortress. Like, they're your subjects. I mean, yeah, they call them your subjects if you know. They're paying taxes. Ugh, give me a break. It's a role playing thing. Well, so long as we're paying taxes, I was hoping we could get some representation in terms of the government. <laughs> yeah, Brent, I was. I was going to make a joke. You didn't have to. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> it's all good. Everything's good. Also, those are lots of chests. Well, we're gonna have a lot of stuff, and basically just set them up here until we get a, a proper storage room. Ooh. But yeah, we are gonna need a lot of sand. I'm thinking actually what might be useful if you want to collect a lot of sand is if we can make uh, this copper drill or this mining drill but we're going to need some coal for that because it's coal and uh, copper yeah. and a copper ring. Yes, the ever elusive coal. Hmm. Okay, I found the stolen weapons. Where were they? In a in a large chest in the middle of someone's house. Huh. He just basically. Think... What was that? I was gonna say, do you think they know how it got there? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Squirt is the in... best detective ever. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's like I, cause I walked in and they waved and you know I opened the chest. I just imagine it's like. Hey, yeah, we're here to find stolen weapons, and they're just like, Yeah, I've got stolen weapons in this chest right here! Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> huh, I got an achievement called A Happening. Wait a minute. 
I got a weird achievement. It's called Nectar of Earth. Craft a mining damage flask using the maggot's temporary special drops. What? It's gotten a thing. Uh. Huh. Okay, this is weird because these blocks are clearly sand, but they are dropping as dirt blocks. Yeah. I wonder if there's like... I guess there's something that's actually considered sand? Kind of weird, though. Well, I suppose it's... If it's like you're here in the uh, dusty junction, a lot of that is probably, you know, mixed in with stone and everything like that, where it's not exactly... The yeah, I might have to dig here. under... Uh, I know where there's some sand. There's some sand near the uh, the pool of water there. Uh, that might be a thing. Or things. Uh, I'm reasons. grabbing all the uh, workbenches and stuff. Alright. Oh yeah, so, uh, there's like 15 European buddy countries that are investigating loot boxes as gambling. Oh, yes. EA, you are gonna burn! And I heard that Australia got in on that action with a study, so... And Bizarre. Washington State. Yeah, yeah. Like, a, a, like as dumb as I think it is, I'm kind of glad that EA has their head so far up their ass that they're just going through with this and probably just digging their own grave. Yeah. Wait, was it EA or Activision that are still trying to fight it? EA. EA. EA Definitely pretty EA. much has shoved. It's pretty much standing by it. Whereas, I think all the other play people are, like, being, you know, let's keep our heads down and let EA take the brunt. <laughs> and it's also kind of a matter of, uh, I know that, uh, like, I know there was that stupidity over two, uh, 2K games basically begging their fans to call, yeah. the, call, call their government officials or oh, whatever. Oh, God, yeah. Come on, guys. We we want to keep bloody uh, nickel and diming you on the sports games. So please, please fight for our behalf. <laughs> like we won't fight for yours. Yeah, pretty oh, much. That's the thing. This is coming from people who pretty much would leave us all, uh, out to dry. It's like we want to do what we can to keep... Fucking you in the ass. Uh -huh. Like as as it's been pointed out, it's like um, uh, NBA two uh, K seventeen or was it? Is it does it always go the next year? If anyway, the NBA game from last year uh, had of course the microtransactions up the wazoo, and this year they've done the same thing. But now they've actually nerfed the, uh, they've basically nerfed the gain on, you know, normal play. So it's now even slower. To, like, oh, yeah. So lowering the EXP and... Yeah. Hmm. I just realized, I just, re you know, when you did the whole, you mentioned that EA is digging their own grave, I'm just reminded of one of these, uh, uh, you've seen Troy McClure in ha instructional videos, and one of them was, dig your own grave and save. <laughs> I, I, I always, that was like my favorite gag on The Simpsons of our time, just, Hi, I'm actor Troy McClure, and you may remember me from such films as... Yeah, Alice's Adventure Through the Looking Glass... Or, Through the Windshield Glass. <laughs> That's that funny fun. for two reasons. You can imagine which way that could go. 
The Erotic Adventures of Hercules. <laughs> Dial M for murderness. So, going back to EA, like, you reminded me of this. Um, I was on Reddit last night, and it was like, one of the things was, you know, what is actually, like, the most evil company? And, of course, there was a bunch of joke answers, like, ah, uh, EA and Activision. But then, I, I found out that, well, I mean, yeah, sure, their greedy practices and trying to introduce gambling to kids is pretty damn evil. But, there was a company that knowingly sold tainted, uh, medication that was tainted with the AIDS virus. What? Oh, fuck. What? Yep. No. No! Yeah, they basically realized that, you know, their medication had, was, you know, causing the uh, AIDS virus. So, they, of course, they didn't want to just, you know, destroy the product, because that was going to be a loss on their behalf. So they started to sell it to uh, poorer countries, like in Asia and... Oh, fuck. Okay, we're done. Okay, I need something to offset my uh, faith in humanity going down. Uh, can we get something that could sort of offset that, please? I mean, as I always say, watch any charity stream. Charity streams are fun. Yeah, I gotta love the fact that there a lot of like quote unquote games journalists are going, oh, gamers are nothing but monsters or misogynists, and then all we have to do is just point to like a charity stream. It's like, uh, we just made like a couple full mill for charity. What did you do? Yeah, it's like I I will never ever lose faith in humanity. Instead, the best way to look at it is losing faith in the rich. That's a good way to look at it. Because they're assholes. Mm -hmm. Although I do know that, you know, at least we got people like Elon Musk who's picking up the slack. I mean, sure, he... He's been in a... a he's under a bit of controversy at the moment. Oh, goody. Because he was an idiot. Yeah. But it's like, okay, yeah, he was an idiot, but it's nothing to... Like, it's not like he's doing anything evil. He just didn't shut his mouth when he should've. Uh-huh. Man, I have to question these, these guys that build a castle on a foundation that contains a lot of coal. Yeah, you just once they under get the advent of gunpowder and some jackass lights it up, yeah, they're gonna go up like a Roman candle. I mean, no, coal isn't exactly isn't volatile like that. Oh. Well, coal dust can be pretty volatile, but yeah. No, it's just the fact that I'm mining all this coal and I'm going underneath the the foundation of their castle to do uh. it. Yeah, if anything, okay, okay. it's a matter of structural integrity. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, so, it, if there was physics, this cars would be crumbling. Oh god, if there was physics, all these islands would be crumbling. So, actually, that reminds me of a thing that uh, was a story I was listening to with one of my podcasts today, talking about um, Centralia, Pennsylvania, I believe the town was called. Yeah. Is that the, si the actual Silent Hill? Yeah, that's the one that you know, Silent Hill was based on that has, like, the vein of coal that has been burning for, like, 40 years now. Oh, my yeah. God. Yes. It's like a mini Chernobyl. Because well, it's basically no hell but... under the earth. Yeah, it, yeah no, like... no radiation, but, yeah, it's, like, just constant, like, poisonous gas coming out of, like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just... yeah, carbon monoxide. 
And also there's a story about how literally the earth opened up beneath a kid that would have killed him within a few minutes if his cousin hadn't pulled him up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. There's a there's another story like that. It's like um I believe they call it Hell's Mouth or something like that. It's like a can't exactly I think it might be in like Germany or Russia. But basically I think it might have been Russia. Like the Russian military uh were doing experiments near like this open gas sort of vein or whatever. And essentially now it's just turned into this just roiling fire that's been burning for the last, you know, six oh, years. Ah, so It's like, you know, it basically looks like a, a mouth that goes to hell. And it's like, there are those moments when it's like, uh, you hear about stuff like that and it's like, is this real life? Yeah. Am I in the Matrix? <laughs> Is this, like, supposed to be a glitch, or are they doing, like, some event? <laughs> like, are we really in an MMO? <laughs> you know, I'll let's think about this in, with the uh, break. I gotta go to the bathroom, so one moment. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Or I'm back, at least. So what did I miss? <laughs> yep. Not much. I was just trying to read up on... Uh that thing I was reading about. Uh, hmm. There are actually like a few places like that around the world where it's just basically uh, coal mines that either something happened and now they're just burning and the coal is just slowly, you know, being consumed by a continuous fire. Let yeah. fly. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yoink. Another NPC that belongs to me. <laughs> and I just realized that the next Nostalgia Critic is, uh, well, this week's Nostalgia Critic is, uh, Fantastic Four Silver Surfer. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah, that existed. I forgot they did that. <sighs> I, I remember... I only watched, I only saw that once, and it was uh, with my sister and her uh, fiance at the time. They're now married, and neither of them had enough, like, no real idea about comic books. So I had, like, even I didn't know that much about comic books, especially Fantastic Four. But I had to give them like the crash course of what Galactus was. The Devourer of Worlds. Yeah, I basically said, he's this big goofy guy in a big purple helmet that eats planets. I mean, that is a pretty apt description. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And once Aunt May, May became uh, the Golden Granny, no wait, Golden Oldie, with the power of the Silver Surfer, and then met the was essentially a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in a chef's hat who fed him a giant twonky. I am not making this up. Comic books are weird. Thank God that wasn't yeah. canon. <laughs> it was all a really weird dream. And then that was a dream from, like, another person. And then that was also a dream, and... Yeah, it was definitely, it was like Inception I don't know, Inception. I've gone cross-eyed. <laughs> and another thing I remember about that, the second Fantastic Four movie, or I guess technically the third, uh, is just the fact that its writing was kind of weird, because they tried to put the, this big importance on, um, I think it was the wedding between uh, Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. Yeah. To the point where it's like, no, you're not allowed to go out and save the world. We've got a wedding. 
Um. What? <laughs> yeah, basically. That would make more sense if, you know, they were in the si They were in the, uh, si uh, setting of when they actually did the Fantastic Four wedding. And there were a bunch of other heroes. And pretty much a bunch yeah. of villains were trying to fuck with the wedding. Hey, uh, did you take that mining uniform I made? Uh, yeah, put it on the second chest over from here. Thank you. Please. I don't know, at least, uh... It's kind of funny how comic book movies were kind of mediocre up until, uh, Iron Man. Yeah, and Iron Man had, like I said before, had pretty much everything against him. Yeah. You know, new... It was an IP that not many people knew about, except, you know, actual comic book geeks. There was... Uh, they were making the script along as they went along. It pretty much, yeah, and Robert Downey Jr. was off his whole drug problem. Yeah. All intents and purposes, it should have failed. Yeah. Hell, I even remember, uh, Robert Downey Jr. basically said that he was... I think he really only was interested in, you know, doing Iron Man up until Iron Man 3. Because it was like, this whole thing was like, uh, I believe he was thinking of quitting after Iron Man 3, but then of course Avengers happened. And he so is like, well, still this going. is a multi-million dollar franchise. Hmm. Uh, so what are you crafting? Uh, grey concrete blocks. Ah. So we're gonna use that for the foundation? Pretty much, kind of, sort of. Yeah, it makes perfect I'm lay, sense. I'm, 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 I'm laying out stuff. Well, if we want to build our castle, yeah, we need a good foundation. Yeah, there, there is an interesting aspect with actors. It's like, they're really, if you think about it, they're actors that come in like sort of two sort of uh, styles. Actors that are generally known for like playing one character, or actors that are basically known for like variety. Who could be pretty much everyone in everything. Yeah. And it's always like a case of like, what kind of actor would you want to be? Because I, you know, you always hear those stories of like, you know, an actor that's like, I'm quitting this, this franchise because I want to try something different. But then and they, they were usually, never like, known for anything yeah. else again. Exactly. Yeah, but some people embrace it. Like, for example, people uh, take Adam West. After the whole goofiness of, you know, the Batman series, there's no way in hell anybody would ever remember him for anything else. So they pretty much just rolled with it. He would Adam West it up. I feel reminded of, um... Uh, 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 yeah, uh, fam Family Guy, the Family Guy, uh, Star Wars, uh, parodies things were, one of the jokes was, uh, Peter Griffin, you know, as, a uh, Han Solo, you know, saying something to the effect of, well, and I'm the only one whose acting career is gonna survive this movie. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, of, of course, the other members of the Star Wars cast would go on to do stuff, but yeah. well, let, 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 let's be honest, Harrison Ford was kind of the one who got the best stuff after that. Yeah, I guess he continued in movies, whereas uh, well, Liam Neeson like Mark Hamill, of course, was survived. pretty good as like a voice actor. Yeah, Liam Neeson kind of survived. Wait. He was Qui-Gon Jinn. Well, I, I was talking about the original yeah. Star Wars. But yeah, yeah that, he, he, like... did, he did. <laughs> he did survive that. Yeah. And, um... 
forgot I can't remember his name at the moment. The guy that plays Obi Wan. Oh, I can't remember. Which Obi Wan? <laughs> the uh, the old Obi. Two and three. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that was Ian Al Alan McGinnis. Alan McGinnis, I think, was the original, and then Ian McGregor was. Ian McGregor, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. Obi Wan. Huh. Let's see. Okay, for alchemy table. I need. Okay, that's also for drafting. Ah, sweet, there's an actual NPC that you can uh, visit to change your hairstyle and that. That's cool. <laughs> Yes, Vani Vani Vandula trade you too. I can't understand your language. <laughs> uh. Oh, um, I have been thinking about a uh, character idea for um when it comes to the uh, Pokemon game, um, there was a thought I kind of wanted to run by you guys. It was while um, thinking about what I might do in terms of a character who might be kind of like in a rival position to Liberty. Hmm. Yeah. We are still recording. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing too embarrassing. I mean... Just making a joke. Yeah, but yeah, it's like, I know there's the whole thing I had the idea of, um, there was the sus suspicions over whether or not Liberty might think that she is Monty's child and all that, and I had it thinking, okay, well, what if I kind of play with that a little bit and had it so that, uh, she had a rival character who was under the impression that he was the child of Monty, and, and part of that is... He kind of gives the impression of a Monty 2.0 or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Well, like, that sounds I, hilarious. And then yeah, we find out it was I... Shinta's kid all along. And the idea that I had in mind was kind of this, you know, this aspect of, like, he would have all the aspects of, uh, he might be the one who gets really into the fencing or is really good at, you know, seamstressing and all that stuff so oh, it would so be he's the a kind ladies of thing man that... yeah and it's like and you know there might be some other you know differing traits but otherwise you know basically the point is is he would be the one that people would point out and go oh yeah clearly he's the one who is the the secret love child <laughs> yeah <laughs> i i could almost see him being like being the sort of typical anime fop sort of uh, princely character. Like, yeah, uh, like. I... Who are you gonna go? go? I was gonna say the the. I can't remember his name, but from um. Uh. Shit. Post club. Um. I, you know the. Uh, what 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 what's his yeah what's his name the dude. Yeah. Dude, yeah. But yeah, like, I, I figure that would work perfectly, who's like, may, maybe he's kind of a bit, uh, overbearing in a sense, you know, wow, maybe Wow, that just... is a lot of coal you found us. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, it was the kind of thing that I figured, you know, maybe, you know, j j just because I kind of like the idea of slightly subverting that idea of how that kind of would work out. Figuring out who's who. Yeah. Hmm. 
I think I know what our uh, entrance is going to need. We need a giant this? door. You know, giant door is good. This place would actually be kind of dangerous to your health. Huh? There are us. There are just like thousands of mushrooms. Oh god, you're right. Spores. <laughs> mm -hmm. God, it's gonna be like if you're playing Cataclysm. Yeah, if you go into an area that's fit, that's been taken over by the Micus faction, which is basically a bunch of sentient mushrooms who want to, well, make you one with them. Yeah, you could probably guess what kind of horror it is when you get infected. <laughs> by the way, uh, we have an issue with the uh, door. Oh, that's just annoying. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's even, whereas you were doing odd. You're odd! I mean... No, uh, I mean, like, I mean, with the odd number of... Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I could just ex expand out the All right. thing a bit. Yeah, so this will yeah, make that's... for a good entrance. That's always the problem I have with these. It's like, you either have, you either have to go even if you want everything sort of like... Uh, you know, nice and symmetrical, but at the same time, you have to go odd if you want actual stuff, like, in the middle. Yeah. Well, it's just for the entrance. Once we, we can go odd once you start going into, like, individual rooms and all that. Yeah. And we could probably put the door somewhere around here. Oh, uh, well, you can move it however you want. Alright. Yeah. Oh! Oh, shit! What? what? We're kind of missing it out, but there's an event going on at Dusty Junction. That's what that flashing was for. Oh! oh. Five minutes left. We'll have a quick look at it. Well, I need to get some more copper anyway, so... Let's see the... Dang. That is actually Nectar cool. Nectar of the Earth. Having like little random quests. Yeah, you were right when you said this was Diablo like. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Craft the mining flask using the maggots temporary. Okay, yeah. So that means basically the maggots drop. Uh, while the Nectar of Earth is going on, the maggots will drop something. Ah. You gotta get your flask. Hmm. Uh, I got something called a fire spirit. Yeah, it's a crafting ingredient of some kind. Probably it. Uh, let's see. It's not a mining thing. Well, it's from the maggots. I yeah. think he's trying to figure out where it is on, like, the crafting screen. Uh, uh it's probably alchemy. I'm checking, and it's not on my alchemy table. So, it might be I have to upgrade the alchemy table yeah. before we see it. Yeah, uh, I, I doubt we're going to make it because it was, you know, four minutes. Yeah. Two minutes now. Anyway, we should take the time to get some more ore. I mean, I've got a whole heap of copper ore. Well, yeah, we're going to need more. I mean, I've got like a hun over a hundred. Oh, then uh, feel free to uh, get the coal and copper and put it in the furnace.
How are you liking your axe? I like it. Maybe there we can also find like some sand George. around. More sand. Yes. Huh? Maybe we can find some more sand. Because mm -hmm. we want to make some more uh, foundation. Yeah, we need a lot of it. And I'm th and I am was thinking while I was here, I might as well break down some Holy. of the stuff some more. What? The actual length, like, range that you can actually dig is insane. Yeah. Yes. yes I've been to the bottom, yeah. Yeah, I was just like looking straight up and digging upwards and... That's a one... Way more than Minecraft, that's for sure. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's I kind of like that. It's like at least a 10 block range. Yeah, it's not realistic, but it's definitely going to make crafting and building things a lot easier. Yeah. Hmm. I find some more copper. Ah! You know, it'd be nice to make some more of those picks. You know, a whole set of copper tools. I mean... I'm doing pretty well with just the stone pickaxe, like... Yeah, but I think right. they also last longer and they go through stuff quicker. And there is a possibility that eventually... Maybe some stuff later on is going to be... You're going to need stronger tools. Like, it might do the whole Minecraft, oh, you can't mine this unless you have a certain tier of tool. Yeah, maybe. I'd say better safe than sorry, and besides, come on, if we want to rule a kingdom of NPCs, we can't just be using stone. I mean, I use magic. Well, do you want to use first level magic or fifth? I mean, I don't need copper for that. The point still stands! <laughs> hey, I should probably give you all this stuff. Um, Just pop it into the chest, I guess. Or into the furnace. Nah, I'll just put it in the chest. You know what, you seem to know what you're doing. Fair enough. I'll head on over as soon as I finish scouting a bit. Huh. Oh, wait, I spy with my little eye an abandoned mine shaft. Whoa. And one I don't think we've explored. So are you, uh, going to go down there and work the shaft? You know, I'm finding a bunch of sand down in here. Is it, uh, causing you some irritation? <laughs> <laughs> I walked right into that one. I truly, truly did. Fable, this is what my D&D &D sessions are like with these guys. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, dude, you need to come to where I am, because there is a lot of sand if you want to dig it up. Well, for, for, first I'm concentrating on, uh, on, uh, breaking down this ruined stone. Ooh, that stuff's gonna look nice. Which is kind of funny, because it's still meant to look like it's from a ruins, which isn't nice, but... I, you, I, you know, I would guess it's like the equivalent to uh, getting pre-ripped jeans. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. It, 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 it's like, God, now I'm just imagining someone saying, like, okay, I want you to make my castle look like it's old and ruined. Uh, are, are you sure if we can get you some nice, uh, you know, smooth-looking ramparts? It'll look, you know, good as new. No, 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 no. I want it to look ancient and decrepit. 
I want it to look like something that an adventurer would go into to kill a lich. I'm a lich, not a king. <laughs> well, I'm a king of the dead, but... Yeah. I have an image to uphold. Okay. That's that's kind of the reason why I'm playing a magical girl hexblade, just to go against the type. Because everyone plays a hexblade in 5th uh, edition as, you know, dark and brooding, because it's a warlock. And yeah. unless you're playing a warlock that gets their power from the actual archfey, their, their powers usually come from, like, you know, fiends and demons and shit like that. I kind of want to play that one creepy necromancer kid from Awakening. You know, the boy who happens to be a necromancer, but he's all friendly. Or maybe it's not Awakening. I remember there was some boy. Hmm. Who am I thinking? Uh, are you thinking of Fire Emblem? Yeah, I know there was a Fire Emblem game where there was, you know, like... Someone who was playing the, uh, the Dark Mage, and he was like a friendly boy with like a big hat. The only one I can think of that, I mean, that kind of fits all the magician archetypes. Uh, it looked like, uh, uh, a Black Mage hat, like, from Final Fantasy. Yeah, that, the only one I can think of when you say that is, uh, the chick that you start with. Hmm. I'll have she to was, come up. She was basically female Isaac. <laughs> anyway, uh, I found a lot of uh, sand in this uh, old mine shaft, so. Yeah. Alright. I'm still breaking down this thing. No, yeah, I'm with ya. That stuff is tough. I think that's why you would want a copper pick. Because then you can break down stuff quicker. Yeah. It's too bad I don't have fun. Well, hey, uh, fun there's fun a new... Stuff. Huh. The pillars in yeah. their temple. Yeah, I'm already there talking. Uh. That's cool. Ah. He actually gives us an artifact that traveled to a... And a little, like, adventure island. Ooh, uh, how about I first, before we do that, let's, uh, I'll make some, uh, uh, new gear for us, and then we'll go and deal with that. I am still breaking things. Uh, which chest did you put the, uh, copper in? Okay, I think I found it. I just teleported there to check it out. It's like a big temple that we've got to explore. Alright. Neat. Okay, i One pick. Two pick. 
And three pick. And a mining drill for you, Squirt. Sweet. Actually, ooh, it's saying that it's like a level uh, six sort of area. Well, I'm level five, so I think I should we should be able to handle it. So why don't we meet back over at our base so I can give you the part, the stuff. I need to put my, I need to clear my inventory anyway. I'll be there as soon as I finish this last layer of stone. Yeah, and I'm going to, uh, and in this quest. Just walk onto an walk over an NPC's head, he doesn't mind. <laughs> There's more beneath. <laughs> How about you just come back so you can... Yeah. I, I think I'll do that. This chest right here. What? Oh, I'm working on that to uh, get some uh, the fireball ability. Cause I want to cast a fireball. What chest says the what? This one. There's a pick, and you can have the drill I made for you. Ooh, all right. It's good on dirt. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we need dirt and we'll upgrade this. I'm s Here's what I don't understand then. It's like, okay, what's what's the point of playing a mage if any character can just use fireball? Hmm. I guess you can use I, it more uh, easily. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, Bran. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I thought it was, like, a thing, you know, each class had. Maybe there are some specialized abilities. Like, these Probably. are just some of the basics that people can do. But then Which... you get the super cool mage spells while I'm stuck with the basic fireball. Which makes me think I should have probably played a warrior if I wanted to go, like, a battle mage. Hmm. Yeah, like, you'll probably get the ability to do fighty fight stuff. Yeah. Uh, can I have the, oh. uh, shards? Oh, right, yeah. Um, I'll just drop them for you here. Yeah, you just left them there, and I was looking at stuff, and I was like, uh, okay. Well, I was waiting for him to, uh, finish grinding when you showed up. 
Wait. And then this asshole just had to show up. <laughs> Let's see. I now understand how to kill something with my mind. Yeah. That's why that's another thing you... The mana would probably... You'd probably get to like cast like once or twice per mana bar. Sounds about right. Yeah, cause my intelligence isn't very high. Oh, it's your wisdom that's your mana. Yeah, that that used up half. Yeah. All right. So to teleport to the temple, we go to ah, there it is, Colmus's. Hey, there's another thing going on. It's a Soren invasion. Sounds like a bunch of lizard people. The Squire's Knoll! Because that ends in an hour. That should say 11 hours. No, no, no. The Soren invasion ends in an hour. The ah. temple is for 12 hours. Right, yeah. Yeah, I just jumped, dropped a bunch of my stuff in there. Do you have an aura? What? Squirt, Squirt's got an aura coming out of her. Cool. I, oh, I guess I kind of do. Uh, I don't. Oh, that's probably the new perk that I picked up. Um, because I picked the thing that says, uh, Commander, you and all players within five meters of you deal 15% increased damage. Cool. You're a paladin! Yee. A paladin of what though? <laughs> oh boy, yeah, I'm gonna need some help. Yeah. We're, I'm dealing with level 7 enemies. Yeah, I level 6. Plus. No, the Saurians. Oh. Okay, um. See, I also came here to check armor. When, when's the next armor um, set that I can make? Ooh, I can make it now. Tundra. I need a lot of cotton thread. Oh, I in here, didn't I? Yeah. Die, 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 die! Da ba dee, da ba die, da da ba dee, da ba die. Nah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, scales. I uh, right. wonder what I can do with the scales. Hmm. Oh, I need one of those to make a hammer time. Really? Yes. Well. For some reason, they're a hammer ingredient. Oh my god, there is a lot of these things out here. Yeah, just taking one of them on is hard. Definitely don't want to deal with them in a group. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Yeah, <laughs> these guys hit hard. Okay. Be inspired by my mere presence. That uh, definitely sounds shit. like a squirt thing. Oh no, it's very slowly moving towards me. There is no there is no escaping the quad laser. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yes, the quad laser. What was that? Oh, 
was that from again? Uh, Aqua, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Force with the Moon Knights. The Moon Knights. Yeah. Uh, I think... I'm also thinking they probably referenced that in, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Yeah, that was with the, uh... Yes. With, uh, Loomis and Umbra. The Moon Knights. For on the moon, our duels last for hundreds of years. That sounds about as, about as long as ours. Also, I gotta say, four kids, did you really think we were that stupid with the whole, oh, if you lose, our magic shadow box will drop you through the ceiling into the shadow realm. Well, I was a dumb kid and I believed it. Yeah, at least, I mean, which is dumber, that or the dark energy discs? Dark energy discs, definitely. Yeah. We most certainly didn't just paint over the actual saw blades. True. Oh god, I got one shot. Oh, yeah, we got owned. They are powerful. Get him! And I put I put down that healing aura thing as well. I found a magical totem. Well, that's oh, that's cool. what it was. Yeah. Maybe it's still up. I have a little blacker. Oh god! Yeah, you forgot you came back in at half health. Well, I knew I came in at half health, I just forgot that they kicked my ass that hard. Uh -huh. I've got to fight ten of these things each. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, we just have to focus one at a time. That's pretty much their best plan. At least we're getting a lot of experience for them. Yeah. Ugh. Gotta remember to make more, uh, more sharpening stones. Alright, I'm good. I'm, okay, I'm kiting one over. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. I'll kite one over and then, then we just gank him. Alright, gonna kite another one. Oh shit! Everything okay? Oh. I think I'll get hit by an archer. Or a mage, I guess it Bet my mana barrier saved me. Basically, uh, I've got a 30% chance that any damage I take will instead be taken from my mana. Well, that's pretty useful. Uh, Basically, that does mean that I just lost all my mana in one hit. Hmm. More things! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a quick heal. Where's my health potion? And I'm gonna do a quick die. Bye! Alright. Man, how many people can play in one world, so to speak? I think four. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the like preview stuff does seem to be four. Ah, uh, you can't cut them too far; they reset. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I, I definitely think, like, just even being like one level higher seems to be. Making a difference, yeah. Hey, it hard. Huh? You gotta love it. No, I refuse to love it. Hey, makes it feel satisfying to take him down. <laughs> Stop standing up there gloating, you smug asshole.
And I died. I avenged hey, you. We're the Revengers. I revenged you. Revengers, assemble. I'll get revenge. The revenge reven <laughs> sing. Yeah, by the way, that is both the most badass yet stupidest title I've ever heard. Revengeance. That is... That's like so 80s. That's like an 80s title, isn't it? Yeah. Like, that's the title. He wants his vengeance and his revenge. He's gonna get I mean, revengeance. Revengeance and, reve vengeance and revenge are the same thing. Exactly. That's what makes it so stupid. <laughs> The revengeancing of the... I can't think of a stupid thing further. Oh, I got owned. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't even being targeted and I almost died. Pwned. Pwned, noob. I never got that. What does pwned mean? I mean, uh, like, I know I understand it's, it's like a derivative owned. of owned. It's yeah. just owned. It's just a misspelling of owned. And I guess it just became a big thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Alright. Now we gotta deal with the mages. They're the hotter ones. Yeah, those guys. Okay, I see a couple down there. Yeah, we gotta get their bodyguards out of the way. Why do... Frickle frack. Birds suddenly okay. appear? Every time you're near? No, I don't think I don't think they have the sort of traditional uh, ah! aggro system as we're expecting. I got a feeling they probably just attack the closest. Sounds about right. Yeah. magic attack, attack it has but you know what it reminds me of remember it started with the clone wars that like first big arc the shadow of the malevolence that ship with the big ion pulse yeah. that's what it reminds me of yeah. ah! See, this is probably not going to be worth it you know what? We're already at four. We might... I mean, we only have four left. We might as well give it a shot. It probably won't be worth it, Maybe. and then we'll do the temple. I mean, after the... Maybe... No, here's the thing I just realized. We're not... We're not playing this right. This is a crafting game. We should cheese them. Hmm. Build, let's build a barricade, and buddy... You know, cheese him through that. Hmm. Mm. Alright, let's grab some dirt, make some walls, and... See ya. Let's hope their magic doesn't shoot through walls. <laughs> That's probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> let's see, do I have any... Yes, I got berries. Yeah, 
Yeah, this copper pick goes through stone a lot faster. Oh, and my just realized I'm out of uh endurance. I mean durability on my one. Hmm. Need some stone. Hey, the way uh, the the sound is, it almost sounds like a music track, like a dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Okay, crafting stone, crafting stone, craft me some. I wish it was like I'm trying to just place blocks around them, but it automatically targets onto the dude. Yeah. Bullshit. All of his friend doesn't even notice. It's because he's seen him kicking our ass. So many <laughs> he's like, yeah, he doesn't yeah, want you got this. Wee. Well, we're always gonna need this stone, so. Hey, I'm level six. Weird that you got to level 6. Um, okay, I definitely think the yeah, crafting probably does give you some XP or something. Well, I, I do a bit of mining, and that also adds on to it. I was doing a lot of mining, and... Hmm. I'm only level 5. Okay. Three more... assholes to beat. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm getting. Okay, we're we're. Let's try and lead him over away from him. His friends. Okay, now we gank him. that they just go for the closest one. Like, I'm so used to an aggro system of, like, yeah. whoever does the most damage is the, you know, the one that's singled out, but... Exactly. Definitely a very simplistic series, uh, system. That's why I can't wait for the bosses. Well, hopefully that temple has something cool. At least some cool blocks that we can mine so that we can build to our castle, right? Yeah. Alright, one more frickin' asshole made. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Over there on the hills. I see one. I'm, I'm already heading towards one. Hmm. I, wow, you must have been blind. Right, yeah. Hey. Oh, good. Oh, 
Oh, what, what, what? You're running away? Come on, you... This is giving us practice of, you know, dodging and all that. Yeah! Yeah, practice. So what's our Let's prize? Nothing. <laughs> Let's head back I, to I, our I, home. I honestly think it's kind of a matter of getting, like, the crafting ingredients is what... Yeah. It, it, it's the real victory. Yeah. I believe that that's probably... There's probably a difference, like, the... Yeah quests that actually have you, you know, doing crafting something is probably a lot different than invasions. That makes sense. Still, it gave us some good practice for when we have to deal oh, with powerful really practice. enemies. I don't want to call that practice at all. I'm trying not to cry right now. <laughs> Scales, I can make a copper work master, a uh, copper master work bow. I just realized we probably aren't going to get to do the temple. Why? Oh my god, it is late. Oh, holy shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, time flies. Time to go. Well, time to head back on that dusty trail, I guess. You, you went to the far side. The dusty trail is the desert. <laughs> Alright. So off to the old grassy. No. Kind of moist. <laughs> Alright. Also, the old dusty trail means hitting the road. Yep. Yeah. Let's see, to upgrade this, I need iron. Yikes. Oh. Let's see. Oh, you're gonna love this. Before we, uh... Yeah. Before we go, I want to show something that I can, that I can make. That's really cool. Alright, now we need the cloth. What, what, what is the workbench to? Uh, it's an upgraded workbench. Okay. Yeah. How, how, how do I... It's this one. The one I'm standing on. Okay. Okay, check this out. I can double oh. jump! Hey! The physical impossibility that we all love in video games. I mean, this is the world of magic. Hey, I love it. Every time I hear that, I think it's like dice rolling. Yeah, it does. I like, I like one of the marble mazes that you sometimes see on yeah. YouTube videos. 
Yeah. I was actually watching a video last night about uh, one of the most amazing um, uh, illusions. Oh yeah, that one with the uh, all those marbles switching into another. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I uh, see what you're doing there. Um, uh, but if you're trying to make it a carpet, wouldn't it make more sense to like dig out the bottom layer and have this be on the bottom? No, we can we can have height. Oh, I see. So, this and is like I said, it is like a foundation type thing. So okay, so all this is gonna be one level up. I see. Yeah, so there'll be stairs. Yeah, that this works. Be, this will be the grand. I was gonna say the grand uh, entrance, but it's a bit too close to the edge of the island. Yeah, maybe we should rebuild this and like just move it over to. Like, in the middle of the island kind of deal. Yeah. But we'll deal with that later. Because it is getting late, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is there anything you want to add before we uh, wrap things up? I am Squirt. <laughs> I am Bryn. I like pink things. Yay! <laughs> and you can't jump up here. I'm the only one who can. <laughs> I wonder if I can activate this while I'm up here. No, I cannot. <laughs> the door to nowhere. Anyway, see you next time.